When Moses was called to meet with God on Mount Sinai, he was there for 40 days. Why so long? Along with a moral code for the human race, the Lord gave him plans for his new earthly home. The New Testament calls the structure the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true one in heaven itself. Hebrews 9.24. Yes, God was going to camp with his people and so instructed Moses on the design of this remarkable structure, an earthly dwelling that would actually be an outpost of heaven. What would this building designed by God and for God be like? Immediately we have a hint, because the Lord gives Moses a gift list for the people. Quote, From everyone who gives it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. Gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, ram skins dyed red, badger skins, and acacia wood, oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate, verses 2 to 7. So, hey, that's quite a list. And herein is a crucial principle. Remember, Israel was involved in constructing the treasure cities in Egypt, chapter 1, verse 11. Couldn't God have said, make me something nice? But no, according to all that I show you, that is the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishings, just so you shall make it. Chapter 25, verse 9. Just so. Why was God so particular? Because this remarkable structure with its furnishings and functions was going to be a detailed object lesson teaching us about God himself and his perfect provision in Christ so that we could dwell eternally with him someday in the true tabernacle in heaven. Exodus 31 introduces us to workmen A and B, Aholiab of the tribe of Dan and Bezalel of the tribe of Judah. Interestingly, Aholiab means my father's tent. Bezalel means in the shadow of God. They were skilled, quote, to design artistic work, to work in gold and silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for settings, in carving wood, and all manner of workmanship. This was not just natural ability. Listen, the Lord says concerning Bezalel, quote, I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. They would be involved in building large wooden structures, working leather and tapestries, smelting and shaping different metals, formulating a unique perfume and making holy incense. They would also be engraving and setting jewels. Amazing! Let me tell you, when God gives his servants, it's absolutely astounding what he can do through them. The whole project got done on time and within budget, as they say. Every believer today is also gifted. And for what? Listen to Paul, the New Testament Bezalel, quote, according to the grace of God which was given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation, with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it. Do you not know that you are the temple of God? 1 Corinthians 3, verses 10 to 16. We're involved in building God's eternal home, and it looks like he's gifted us to work with gold, showing God's glory, silver, pointing to the redemption price, and the gospel we proclaim, and precious stones, a picture of caring for God's people. So this study will show us how to work on the ultimate construction project in history. <music>